Storm Team 8 Tracking Center. This is a winter weather alert. The snow really started to stack up yesterday, and of course, we're still seeing those snow showers coming down. So here's some of those totals from yesterday, which at this point, of course, are a little bit higher because light snow at least continues to fall. Fremont picked up around 11 and a half inches, 10 inches in Norton Shores, close to nine inches in Ada. Wyoming saw about eight and Hamilton saw closer to five. So yesterday it was really Kent County into Ottawa County, portions of Allegan County, Muskegon County, Nuego County where we saw the most snow. And now we're kind of changing those areas that we're focusing on for seeing those higher snowfall totals. By the way, yesterday we actually broke some records. In both Grand Rapids and Muskegon, we broke some daily snowfall records, so the record amount of snowfall for January 5th. We ended up with 8 inches in Grand Rapids, 5.3 inches in Muskegon, and both of those were enough to break the record. In Grand Rapids, we still have the snow coming down. So here's a look out there where visibility once again is reduced. It doesn't look like a ton on the radar, but we are seeing fairly widespread snow, even if it's just light. So at this point, areas once again like Kent County into Ottawa County and Muskegon County are seeing some more of this snow. But we have a small disturbance that's dropping down to the south. And as that happens, we'll likely see some snow bands that move from the north down to the south. So this is one of our higher resolution forecast models. And notice this model really picks up on that band of snow moving from north to south. We'll just have to watch the exact placement of that band as it moves through this afternoon into the evening. Winds continue to shift direction slightly overnight, so we'll likely see a band of snow over Lake Michigan that tries to break inland overnight into the morning tomorrow. Tomorrow morning along the lakeshore looks fairly messy, and we'll keep that chance of snow, especially along the lakeshore, through a lot of the day tomorrow, except we are looking at warnings and advisories expiring tomorrow morning. So in terms of how much more snow we're going to see, here's what we're thinking. Obviously, closer to the lakeshore, we'll see slightly higher totals, and that extends into Kalamazoo County as well. Keep in mind, this is today through the day tomorrow, so a 48-hour window here. As you go inland, those numbers are forecast to drop down slightly, but again, where those snow bands set up, we end up seeing a little bit more. Temperatures are on the cool side. We're still in the teens in Battle Creek, Kalamazoo, Sturgis, and Coldwater. 20s as you go north of there. Notice on the other side of the lake, we have actual air temperatures that are below zero. So not as cold as it could be in West Michigan. Tonight, it is going to be fairly cold. We do have a chance of seeing skies break apart for a time, and that will allow some temperatures to drop to zero or even just slightly below. Looking ahead to the weekend, low 30s on Saturday. A lot of Saturday looks dry. And then Sunday, we'll see a chance of a wintry mix that gradually transitions over to some snow. Sunday will likely be one of those days where temperatures fall slightly as the day goes on. And then Monday and Tuesday of next week, highs only in the teens. That is cold. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for the highs in the teens only. The snow yeah. I can handle. It's when it gets that cold. That... Yeah, the snow is one thing, but yeah, those highs in the teens, definitely <sighs> brutal. It's just winter decided to come back for us in full force. I just want to live in sweatpants. Me too. <laughs> Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs>